Hey, Bobby here. So Instagram has just announced two huge monetization features. The first one being badges, which is going to allow creators to sell badges when they go live. So you'll go live to your Instagram account and people can go badges, basically tokens of support, really similar to Twitch. And the second is they finally announced a release date for IGTV monetization, meaning there will now be ads and at least 50% of IGTV videos meaning if you create IGTV videos, you can now get paid for posting to Instagram. In this video, we're gonna go over both of those, what it means for Instagram creators and how to take advantage and use these features. Back with the best, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bobby, AKA the Influencer CEO, and this is the channel where I help you build influence on social media. So we're bringing you all the tips and tricks to help you build influence on social media and also monetize influence on social media. So please smash that like button if you're excited for IGTV and Instagram monetization monetization. All right, so let's get right into the update. So check it out. This morning I saw a tweet from, I'm gonna butcher this name, Vishal Shah. Anyways, he is the VP of product at Instagram and he announced this, creators are the heart of Instagram and we wanna help them turn their passion into a living. Today we're sharing new ways creators can make money in both Instagram Live and IGTV. In June, so it's May, it's the end of May, so this is next week, we're going to be testing a way for fans to buy badges to support creators during lives. We're also testing ads and IGTV and sharing profits with creators. So this is the actual announcement that Instagram made. So let's kind of uh, go over it for a second. Creators have always been the core of my community. This is filler. Let's just go to introducing badges in live. During the COVID-19 crisis, we're seeing people support their favorite creators in with live comments, likes, and donations to give fans another way to participate and show their love. We're introducing badges that viewers can purchase during a live video. So basically, you're going to be able to support people when they're going live by buying a badge. So maybe I'll zoom in on this a little bit right here. But you can see now when people go live, you'll have the option to sell badges and you can buy it while watching somebody go live and we'll give you these special icons and see these other special features. So badges will begin texting next month with a small group of creators and businesses. Over the coming months, it will expand to the US, Brazil, UK, Germany, and France. If you would like to be considered for an early access to badges, please fill out this form right here. So if you want this feature, you need to come to this website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description and you need to fill out this form. So badges will appear next to a person's name throughout the video. Fans who have purchased the tags in live will stand out in the comments and unlock additional features, including a placement on the creator's list, badge holders, and access to a special heart. All right, so IGTV ads. Starting next week, we are introducing IGTV ads in IGTV our long form video destinations. Ads will initially appear when people click to watch the IGTV videos, previews in their feed. Um, the videos will be built for mobile and up to 15 seconds long. So really similar to Snapchat ads. And you could see this is what it looks like. Let's see if I could do it without the sound right here. So when you're scrolling down and you're looking for an IGTV video, and you could see it right there. You see that button? As soon as you press watch the IGTV, boom, it's going to start popping up an ad. And I don't know if it mentions it here, but I've seen tweets and I've seen information releasing that this is going to be on 55% of accounts. Now, there is no information of how to sign up for IGTV ads, but I can assume it's going to be similar to Facebook. This is called Facebook Creator Studio. Essentially, anybody can create a creator account on Instagram. And once, once you do that, you have this tab right here, monetization. Um, this is for Facebook, but you can see there's also an Instagram tab. So I'm assuming that this they're going to roll it out either this way or they're going to roll it out through the phone and you'll be able to access Instagram monetization through your phone. There is no how to sign up for this yet, but keep in mind it launches next week, so we may have more information on that. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Let's start and talk about the IGTV monetization because this is something I've covered on this channel before. So subscribe to this channel if you're all interested in monetizing your social media because we're covering everything here. So look, my big gripe with this whole IGTV monetization feature is they're going to allow creators to monetize their IGTV, but they're not going to create ways to make it searchable. One of the biggest reasons I create so much more content on YouTube than I do uh, Instagram or IGTV is IGTV isn't searchable, meaning people cannot find me externally 
outside of Instagram. So for example, let's say I'm making a video like this one right here. It's called, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Maybe I'll call it IGTV monetization. Anyways, I can create the video and I can create tags and description. So when people go to YouTube and they type up IGTV monetization, all pop up. You could do the same thing with how to tie your shoes, how to shoot a basketball. You can have SEO or you can have data in your videos so people can actually find you. And so if somebody goes to YouTube and they're interested in Instagram growth and they type in Instagram growth, I'll appear. Now, if I go over to Instagram and I create a video on Instagram growth, Instagram tips, personal branding, if you go to the search bar and you type in personal branding, I'm not going to appear. The off the top of my head, the people that are gonna benefit the most are the people that already have a massive audience. Will Smith is gonna make a shitload of money off this. Congratulations. Um, there's some Instagram models that are gonna make some great money off of this. Congratulations. But that's not the audience that IGTV needs to cater to, in my opinion. IGTV needs to start getting people like me on the platform and, you know, people that give value. And that could be anything. People that teach people. Now, my second big problem with IGTV is there's no original content. If you go to IGTV right now, you're gonna see a bunch of BS content. And if you want an idea of how bad Instagram is of creating an algorithm or a newsfeed of, or of curating content for you, go to the Facebook watch page and see how terrible the content is in Facebook watch. I mean, it's some of the worst, dirtiest, stupid content you've ever seen. People solving Rubik's Cube. It's like 2008 clickbait content. That's what the Facebook watch page is. And Instagram, I don't know why they think they can do better. So look, if you go to the search page for IGTV, you're going to see reposted videos. You're going to see ugly black box with type over it. You're going to see celebrities, you know, the, the people that you would expect. So in my opinion, Instagram needs to do a better job of getting people to create original content for IGTV. And we'll see if this encourages people enough to do that. The live badges. This is cool, but this is another one of those features that the rich get richer, in my opinion, because live is crushing it right now. Live usage is skyrocketed up on Instagram, but it's really only skyrocketed for the top 1%, the top 5% of Instagram creators. Meaning if you have, you know, 300,000 Instagram followers, yeah, you're going to crush it. But in my opinion, this whole update Instagram sites is they're trying to give creators ways to monetize. But I'm thinking about the fitness instructor who has 300 followers that just lost their job and is now transitioning to Instagram or to online. How does Instagram fumble the bag and not go, OK, look, there are teachers, tutors, fitness instructors, cooks who are now getting online. How do we get them? to instead of creating a website or an email list and start posting their content online independently, how do we get them to use social media to broadcast to their clients and their fans? And so how, what's the incentive for that person that has 400 followers to get on live when if you really get on live, there's only gonna be one or five people watching your Instagram live at most. And obviously it's up to us to build our audiences, but I just don't see why this isn't rolled out along with an announcement that we're creating an explore page for live. We're creating a live section that allows you to find fitness instructors. We're creating a discoverability feature to help people because without the audiences, no one's gonna watch. So like I said, the people that have 300,000 followers on, uh, on Instagram, they're crushing it right now because now they can go live and they can have people pay. But the people that really need it, the people, you know, the fitness instructors, the chef, they're gonna go live and congratulations, now they can charge people or they could have people pay badges. But what's the point where only five to 10 people are watching their lives in the first place? That's it for this video. Please subscribe if you found this information at all useful and join the Not Boring Marketing Discord chat. Every morning I get in there and I upload the latest news in social media. We talk about influencers, online trends, all that good stuff. So if you're trying to build influence or monetize influence. It's a place you want to be. Trust me, this will be the number one marketing discord chat very, very soon. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me. This is another way to help creators get paid for the things they're passionate about on social media. I'm excited about it. You let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hopefully I'll see you around if you're new. See you guys in the next one. Peace.